You look at the NBA now, and a lot of people are saying that the next national TV deal could be doubling in value versus the current deal, which is, I think is like 930 something million dollars on average uh, from the broadcasters. And I go back and I think about this is a league that started by a bunch of arena owners in like 1949 because they were looking for teams to, to fill their arenas that were black too many nights, you know. Um, but go, did, was the prospect of a much richer national TV deal something you guys thought about before you bought the 76ers a couple of years ago? Well, let's just say that when our group, led by Josh Harris, uh, came in to buy the 76ers in 2011, uh, we were not looking at the NBA of 1949. We were looking at the NBA of the 21st century. And it's uh, really stunning what the NBA has built across the United States. Uh, there's global interest in the NBA now. There's global interest in basketball. Uh, our sense was that demand for professional basketball in the United States was only going to get bigger and better. Uh, I don't know what the next TV contract will be nationally for the NBA, but it's certainly uh, going to be an, an attractive uh, television deal, that's for, that's for sure. And yes, we were aware that the future of the NBA is bright, and that was one of the big appeals to us, especially to come in uh, and assume ownership of the Philadelphia 76ers, which is a storied franchise in the league, one of the three winningest teams in the history of, of the NBA. It's Lakers, Celtics, Sixers. Mm -hmm. Uh, in that order. So we, we knew we uh, were able to buy into a pretty special property. What's the, been the most fun up until now? Uh, I know that, uh, there, there, there are two moments. We've had two seasons now under our belt. I think there are two moments for me that stand out. Um, uh, one was our first game uh, because before the opening tip of the home opener in the 2011-12 season. You know, we brought out to center court Julius Irving and Moses Malone and some of the great, great legends of Sixers history. Uh, our ownership group walked out to center court with them and it dawned on me at that moment that the adventure begins. Uh, and in that season, there was a special moment when Andre Iguodala put in two free throws with two seconds left on the clock to uh, 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 win game six of our playoff series against the Chicago Bulls, which sent us into the second round of the playoffs last season. Uh, it's the first time the Sixers advanced into the second round of the playoffs since 2001, 10 years earlier. You know, the real joy comes from seeing the team do well on the court. Uh, that what, that's what makes even us as owners jump up and down uh, uh, with, uh, euphorically. Of course, there are 364 other days in the year and we like to run our business well and uh, we'd rather run very profitably than not profitably. We'd rather run an organization that people respect. What's been something that's most surprised you in your brief tenure as one of the owners? That you didn't uh, really expect, perhaps. Well, I did expect coming in uh, how much fun this would, would be. I, I remember telling friends when I took on the role as CEO of the Sixers that I'm going to be a 14-year-old boy again because I was born and raised in Philadelphia. It's my hometown team, and to assume leadership of your hometown team, the team is a hoot. But um, to see how passionate the fans are about the success of the team on the court um, we, the attendance had been low at the Sixers uh, for years under the prior ownership. And uh, when they sold us a team, they, uh, Ed, Ed Snyder, who owned the Flyers and the Sixers, world's classiest man as far as I'm concerned, said, you know, it's just time for someone else. Come in with fresh blood, fresh ideas. Let's see what you can do with the team. And we're still very much involved with his company because they own the arena that we're in and right. they're part owner in the television network that carries our game so we interface with them on a daily basis. Um, and what we saw was really a resuscitation of the franchise. Um, there was a renaissance that took place over the past year and a half between the fans of Philadelphia and our team, the, the Sixers. They really care if we win now, and they um, really care if we lose. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know if I should be surprised by that. I guess you expect that too, but times a hundred. 